one, this is Danielle with Murder and Coffee, where I spiel a bunch of random bullshit that you probably have heard of or probably not have heard of. Uh, this episode's a day late. I apologize. I apparently have a talent and skill of catching whatever the hell my kids bring home. So, that's why I'm doing a Red Bull today instead of a coffee. So, <clears throat> this one I'm doing a little different differently. This one is all about Black Widows. Ah, not the spider, but the crazy bitches that, you know, would kill someone for their money after marrying them or dating them for so long. Um, it's gonna be a fucking crazy ass list. Like, seriously crazy. These bitches are insane. Uh, but I'm taking the ones with a shit ton of kills. So, yeah, this is all about kill counts. I had a lot of time to play Call of Duty today. Uh, so we're going to start with the one with the least amount of victims and go down to the craziest of the bitches that I have found online. This is like two, three days worth of research, guys. So here we go. Coming in at number 11, we have Mary Elizabeth Wilson with two to four victims. Poisoning by phosphorus. 1955 through 1957 from Windy Nook, Tyne and Ware, England. She was sentenced to death on March 29th, 1958, commuted to life imprisonment on June 1st, 1958, and died in Holloway Prison on December 5th of 1962. Coming in at number 10, we got Anna Cunningham with five victims, 1918 to 1922. Collecting life insurance money. Her husband and her four children were her victims. Poisoning by arsenic, and she's from Indiana. Lita Catherine Ambrose, Missouri and Idaho. Nineteen seventeen to nineteen twenty. She's also got five victims. Arsenic was her method and she escaped from Idaho State Prison on May 4th of 1931 recaptured in Kansas City in 1932 Amy Archer Gilligan born Amy E Duggar from Connecticut five plus victims collecting life insurance money was why she did it 1908 through 1916 poisoning by arsenic and strychnine she was sentenced to death on June 18th of 1917. Granted a new trial, she pled guilty of secondary murder. She was sentenced to life in prison on July 1st of 1919. She was legally declared insane in 1924 and transferred to Connecticut Hospital for, insane, for the Insane, where she remained until her death on April 23rd, 1962. Number seven, we have Lydia Trueblood with one to six victims. I'm, I'm assuming you all are getting like a theme here. It's all about the fucking money. Um, 1915 to 1920, arsenic, Idaho. Sentenced to a term of 10 to life in 1921, paroled on October 3rd of 1941 and died on February 5th of 1958. Tilly Klimek, one to six plus victims, 1914 to 1921. Arsenic, sentenced to life in prison in 1923, died in prison on November 20th, 1930. Rhonda Bell Martin, why'd she do it? Ding, 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 life insurance money. All right, her victims were six. 1937 to 1951, Montgomery, Alabama, executed on October 11th of 1957. At number four, we got Luis Vermilia. Nine victims, you guessed it, life insurance. From Illinois, arsenic, 1893 to 1911, committed suicide by poisoning following her arrest. Lydia Sherman, 10 victims. 1864 to 1871. Arsenic, sentenced to life in prison in 1872. Died in prison on May 16th, 1978. Life insurance in Connecticut. 
Number two, Mary Ann Robson. So, Mary Ann was born Mary Ann Cotton. She did all this to collect insurance money. She had one to 21 plus victims. 1857 to 1872, Northeast England. Arsenic was her method. Eight of her children, seven stepchildren, mother, three husbands, a lover, and an inconvenient friend. Executed by hanging in Durham Prison on March 24th, 1873. And number one is the most psycho of the psycho. Because we don't know if she's alive or dead. Well, obviously she's dead now, but like there was no proof of her being dead. Belle Sorensen Gunness. Born Brynhild Paul Statter Storseth. Her victim count is 13 to 42. Life insurance money, valuables, eliminating witnesses, poisoning by strychnine or bludgeoning. The 1800s or the 1880s all the way up until 1908. On April 28th, 1908, the bodies of her children were found in the home's wreckage, but the headless body of a female was found with them and it was never identified. Indiana and Illinois. So, I think number one wins Psycho Award. Yeah, she is fucking insane. I'm assuming that she thought her kids were worth a lot of money. So there it is. The top 11 Black Widows I have researched. I want to give a shout out. I started listening to Crime and Wine. Oh my God. They are hilarious. Um, I have yet to check out Don't Fuck With Cats. I started it on Christmas and I got to redo it all over again, but I've heard nothing but great things. Um, sorry again that this is a whole day late. I feel miserable and the kids, yeah, they feel bad for it too. Let's see here. Shout outs. Let's do some shout outs here. Um, Obviously, Crime and Wine. Um, I've also been listening to Dateline. Ooh, Investigation Discovery app. Check out the show Obsessed Dark Desires. It, just look up Obsessed. That show is amazing. Um, what else? I've been looking into my next cult case. Um, it's going to be amazing. I have so many ideas. So I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, what else? Let's see here. I can't think of anything right now. Oh, my God. Um. Uh, if you guys have any ideas of something you'd like me to cover or anything you want me to check out, a new true crime podcast, um, anything like that, link it down below or on my Facebook. Um, check out your Crime Stoppers webpage in your local area. Uh, it's been insane over here. Also, um, what else? Comment down below anything you'd like me to do. I'm always up for new research. Um, it may not be right away. It may be within a couple of weeks. You never know. Um, I delve pretty far into all this stuff. Trust me. I think my husband is sick of the mess that was my desk that I literally just cleaned up. Um, what else is there? Uh, da, da, da. Please hold. I know I have another podcast. I've been checking out. Sorry, I'm working with my computer and like a million other things over here. 
Um, check out True Crime Garage. Those guys are hilarious. Um, On the Case with Paula Zahn is a good one too. And of course, it's not going to let me. Um, there are so many that y'all can check out. And yeah, it's going to be epic. So, comment down below what you want me to do next. Uh, at the end of the video, there's going to be a poll. Go ahead and answer the poll. And let's see here. I got nothing. I'll record on uh, Sunday night so I'm able to get this up on Tuesday. I know Tuesday is New Year's Eve, but I have one kiddo coming home, the other kiddo's home, and that following weekend I have another kiddo. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and yeah, check out the other videos, go to Crime Vault, check out... Uh, all kinds. I've been watching a lot of... <sighs> yeah, Crime Vault. And then Criminally Listed. I am obsessed with those two channels right now. Um, if you haven't yet, check out My Favorite Murder and Crime Junkie on iTunes, Spotify, Podcast, wherever you listen to your stuff. Um... And yeah, y'all stay safe out there and I will see you on Tuesday. Mwah.